everyone and welcome back to my channel. So if you are new here, hi, my name is Brody. So I am actually doing another hair review today and it is something that I have started as like a little playlist on my channel where I test out lots of different kind of orange hair dyes. So if that's something you would like to see, then please keep on watching. So as I've just mentioned, if you are not new here, then you will have seen over the years me test out quite a few different orange products. So I've used all sorts of different brands, Crazy Colour, I've used um, Adore, I've used like smaller brands, I've used all sorts to be honest. Um, and today I am going to be using this. So this is a very, very well known brand I'd say. And it is the Bleach London Tangerine Dream. So I've never actually used this colour before. Now it does say it is super cool colour, semi-permanent hair colour cream, fades out in 2 to 30 washes. It's vegan and cruelty free and it's 150 mils. So yeah, I've never actually tried this one before so I'm going to be testing this one today. As you can see, I have um, like the orangey colour on my ends and my natural colour here. So I opted for a root fade a while back just because I needed something a little bit more manageable. I mean, I'm pregnant. I also have a toddler at home and I just needed something that looked all right when it's styled, even like when it's growing out, if that makes sense. Because I used to have a full head of um, like the gingery hair colour and then I decided, you know what, I need something more maintainable. So just a little disclaimer here, I am eight months pregnant. I am getting quite out of breath, so I am sorry if I do sound a bit like I'm panting, that is probably because I am. Um, also, I am doing my hair dye in a well ventilated room. I have done plenty of hair dyes during pregnancy, during this one and last one. Um, but if you are new to like dyeing your hair and stuff, then please just make sure you do a patch test first. Because you know, your hormones can make you a little bit different and react a little bit different to certain things. So just make sure you do your patch test if you're new to the hair dyeing thing. Um, but like I said, I've been doing it ages now. So um, this isn't like new to me anymore. So yeah. So yeah, now that little disclaimer is out of the way, I think we should just get on with the dye. So I'm going to show you what it looks like, you know, just on its own. Um, I haven't actually washed my hair in, God, a few days actually. My hair is well overdue a wash but i knew i was going to be doing this video so i didn't really see the point i just thought i'd save it so as you can see if i'm looking here or above it's because i'm either looking in the viewfinder or the mirror um as you can see here so this is my natural brown and then this is a um like gingery red copper kind of you know this color um it is very faded at the moment and i like to keep it quite bright so although it looks quite bright on camera as you can see here it's actually not that bright in person let me pull the blind up don't know if you can see a bit better there um but yeah it just needs a little bit more life as i said i'm eight months pregnant i'm going to be chopping up my hair like quite often in this next month or so just to give myself that little bit of confidence boost and just tidy myself up ready for when i have my baby because when the second baby is here i'm not going to have my time to just dye my hair all the time like i was saying before i got sidetracked um i basically put this color all over my hair even on the brown i know for a fact it hardly takes on the brown it slightly makes the brown warmer that's what i found with most semi-permanent dyes and that washes out really quickly i mainly use it just to like sort out these ends brighten it up and make my hair look a little bit more alive if that makes sense um i tend to just dampen my hair first and then apply it all over leave it 20 odd minutes and then wash it off and just style as usual so that's what i'm going to be doing today but according to this so the directions are, um, so it's semi-permanent hair colour. For best results, use on bleached light blonde hair. It may still show on dark blonde and light brown hair as a hue or a tinge effect. On blonde hair, colour will fade to a medium orange, then pale orange, then honey yellow. Um, it lasts between 2 to 30 washes. Fade out time depends on hair porosity. Sunlight, heat, environmental factors and friction may also decrease the lifespan of the colour. Even without washing, we recommend a strand test before use, which is the patch test that I mentioned. Um, it says directions here. Wear gloves, apply generously to shampoo, towel dried hair, massage or comb through mid lengths or ends before leaving to develop for 30 minutes. Rinse out and style as desired. 
so that's what you're meant to do um but yeah as i said before all i'm going to do is dampen my hair apply it leave it 20 30 minutes wash it out and style as usual so yeah so with that all being said i'm going to go change my top put some old clothes on i'm going to dampen my hair start applying might probably put gloves on because i don't know if i want stained orange hands today um so yeah i might actually wear some gloves for a change and i will check back in with you in a little bit so yeah let's uh stay tuned for the hair reveal So I've fully done my hair now, I'm just giving it a quick wipe around the edges to make sure it doesn't stain my face. Um, as you can see it's coming off pretty easily. Now a top tip for this is some colours do really stain. Thankfully this doesn't but at the same time like I'm not that bothered even if it does. Um, but yeah a top tip is when you are dyeing your hair especially with like semi-permanent colours just go around your hairline with like Vaseline or some sort of like um, you know something like Vaseline if you haven't got Vaseline um, and just basically smother your hairline and it'll stop the hair um, it'll stop the hair colour sticking to you but like I said this one's coming off fairly easy so that's not too bad um, so yeah I'm just going to leave this now for 20 30 minutes i need to go and do a few jobs so i'll come back to this soon um but yeah we'll see it applied really nicely i will say it does have quite a strong smell to it i think um not a hair dye smell though it's like just a oh jesus christ um just a strong smell um but yeah we'll see how it gets on anyway and when i check back in i will check back in once i have washed it i'll just be washing it with a normal shampoo and conditioner Another top tip if you've got coloured hair, use colour conditioners and shampoos obviously and also if you can rinse your hair in like cool water that'll help retain the colour a little bit more rather than hot water. Um, but yeah so I will check back in once my hair is all washed and styled and I will give you my final verdict. So I am back and my hair is finished. I actually think it looks lovely. Um, so I know I've said this before, like, but I really do feel like this is another true orange. I will say it is slightly red in the daylight, but when the sun hits it, it's a bit cloudy and rainy at the moment, the sun's gone in. But uh, when the sun hits it, like, it's the perfect orange. Like, honestly, I love it. So here in the mirror, you can kind of see the back of my hair, how that looks. But yeah, I actually think it looks stunning. So if I just turn around and show you... So this is what my hair looks like now, just excuse the um, sorry about the car outside, um, I think it looks really nice, um, it hasn't really altered my natural colour I'd say at all, just looking in the viewfinder and in the camera. I don't think my natural colours change like at all but um, the actual like bleached area is honestly a gorgeous shade I love it and my hair is also lovely and soft as you can see all I've done is literally like blow dried it and straightened it like that is it um, but yeah it just feels in such good condition like it's put a bit of life back into my hair and yeah I am really really happy with it so what do you guys think I'd personally give this like 9.5 out of 10. I think the only way they'd get this to a 10 out of 10 is if um, 
it looked more orange like just in the natural daylight but um i'm not mad about it like i think it looks gorgeous i can't stop touching it but um yeah so happy with it so i would definitely recommend this it is approved it is a dye that i will continue to use um i say that about most of them actually but you know i do actually really like this and it's I'm, and it's such an affordable price as well you can get it from most retailers it's not like somewhere that you just have to get off a specific site um and that's what i like about it so yeah i am uh, very very happy so if you would like to see more videos like this or you want to see me test out a certain brand then just let me know in the comments box down below, I'd be happy to try it and until then I will see you on the next one. Bye everyone!